what's up back again with another video and this is a really great mm -hmm. and awesome video do you know why this is an important video mm -hmm. well it's because i will be talking to everyone who watches this video all about ios 5 because i am celebrating apple's big 15th year anniversary of ios which has happened before this summer at the end of june but I decided to not start this until after I come back from my summer break, which I started a little later than some other YouTubers started back again. So sit back and enjoy me talking all about iOS 5, and it's the second year that Apple calls it iOS from iPhone OS before iOS 4 was released. So iOS 5 has got some great new features and changes as well as some new apps by Apple. I will be showing you the iOS 5 home screen and lock screen on my iPod Touch 4 in white first year of it to be white. It was just black before. But nowadays lots of colors to choose from. So anyways, back to this topic. So Apple released iOS 5 on October 12th of 2011 with drop support for the iPhone, iPhone 3 grams, and also the iPod Touch 2nd General iOS 5 supports the iPhone 3 grams S. iPhone 4. iPhone 4 seconds. The iPod Touch 3 and 4. <coughs> iPad 1 and 2. Um, uh. iOS 5 came with some new wallpapers with three brand new Apple apps and one change to the app. Apple bought us all new stand with the release of iOS 5. It's the same as Apple News these days. <coughs> you can download your favorite magician and newspaper from the iBook store. Apple also introduces the camera app on the iPad and the iPod Touch for the very first time. iPhone always had it since iPhone OS 1 which is the beginning of a new era. Mm -hmm. iOS 5 replaced the SMS texting app with a message. It has got a green icon now before it was blue. Mm -hmm. Apple also removed the iPod app found on the iPhone and replaced it with music and added a new app called Videos, which you can watch your favorite movies or TV shows. Now here is a really big change and lots of people have been waiting for this to happen iOS 5 and above you can update your Apple device without connecting to a computer, which tons of people really like the feature, and not having to always plug into your computer in order to update it. Sorry guys to tell you that I wrote my next note that I always say to you guys, which are my viewers, that I wrote my next part to my note about iOS 5 on here and by mistake erst it. So now I don't feel like typing it all out again, but I will just show you it. This is the updates by Apple for iOS 5.0.1 and iOS 5.1 which the coolest feature about iOS 5.1 was that you can now access the camera on the lock screen without calling your pin which is kind of cool. You just swipe up to access it which is smart for Apple to do that. If you need to access the camera quickly you can. That feature only came to the iPhone and iPod Touch never with the iPad because they figured people don't use Zally take photos with their pads more with their iPhones these days but others like her my nana does. So maybe when Apple release iOS 16 next summer maybe Apple will add it to the iPad. Anyways, now we come to the last update of iOS 5 by mm. Apple, mm. which only four updates really short. Usually Apple releases more updates than that. 
but I guess Apple decided to make iOS 5 only have four updates, and they spread them apart during the year. <laughs> Uh, so uh, Apple's uh, final uh, version of iOS 5 is iOS 5.1.1 on May 7th, 2012, which is exactly two months away until they released iOS 5.1 back on March 7th, and they decided to release that update again on May 25th, 2012 with another device, and it came with bug fixes, and now you can take a photo in camera app with the volume up and down button, which why do you think that I will know everything about iOS 5 by now but Apple surprised me with that feature we'll have to try it and tell you all next week if I like the feature wow I just can't believe it. Wow I just know something that I didn't know. Mm. So thus iOS 6 folks join me again next week to talk about iOS 6 next week. So now I haven't done and COVID update for you guys in a while. I decided to do COVID updates once in a while, not once every two weeks. Um, uh, so let's mm. see what are the damages are with the world of COVID. By the way, I don't know if everyone here watches the TV show every Saturday night at 7 on CTV called W5. That show has been around since 1966, while this year their yeah. 56th season of doing it. Over the years they have on different hosts, nowadays it's Avery Hines. Lisa Laflam is on the show sometimes <laughs> with interviews. Some interviews are really good. There's Yusuf Ali two interviews per week. Dot. I think that the show will go all the way up to season 60, which will be at the end of 2025 and the beginning of 2026. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if that show will go all the way to their 100th <laughs> season, which will be at the end of 2065, and the beginning of 2066 I will be still alive by then. Hopefully I am, I think I am going to be alive in 2066. So anyways, this W5 that I watched on Tuesday night from this season on my PVR was a really interesting. It was Calif the next pandemic, and it talked about how there was a Spanish flu that lasted from February 1908 to April 1910, and it was also called the Great Influenza Epidemic. They were talking on the show about how there's different strains of the virus called H1N1. And talked all about it and it started in animals, and then somehow transmitted it to humans. And they also talked that we are in the second worldwide pandemic called coronavirus or COVID-10. <laughs> So when they talked about how the battle that we are in and have been for the past year and 11 months. Uh -huh. Next month on December 19th will be the two year mark. We might be facing one day in the future with another pandemic which will be our third one. And how COVID-10 has got all different mm -hmm. names for different strains of the variants. The big one right now we face is called the Delta variant of the virus. So if it's true like what happened back then, then we should come out of this by FRBRUARY or March 2022. So now let's quickly look at the COVID numbers. Some people like me are curious to know where we stand in this pandemic so thoughts why I am here to keep you updated and this is live COVID numbers so this is not a day old this is from today. So worldwide COVID case count is wow my god so god please forgive me but oh god. <laughs>
The exact number is 256,287,766. Wow. The Spanish flu back in 1908 ended when 1.2 billion cases were reported, which is crazy, and that's along with half of a billion deaths. But back then we didn't have the right equipment in hospitals like we have got today. <laughs> COVID-19 deaths, sadly, we are, while well, we just hit the fifth million death from COVID-19 virus that we face today. The exact death count number is 5,135,950. Now here's some good news, not from the Bible, some comedy for you, Jesus. <clears throat> Here is the numbers of the purple that recovered from the virus, and the exact number is 231,499,069 liters. Now let's see how is the U.S. is doing today in terms of good. <clears throat> <laughs> Today they had wow well, this number is not going down a lot because people have been gathering and going out and about to casinos, movie theaters and concerts and hockey games, which explains why in Toronto the other weekend the Skoda Bank Arena was a packed house, every seat was taken between Toronto Maple Leafs against the Boston Bruins. And wow my god, sorry got again for the Miley Cyrus for the first time ever I seen in my lifespan those stunky no good maple leaves which is a maple leaf this week and really like they beaten the Boston <laughs> six, two, which is my all-time favorite team because I like their colors and Ariana Grande was born in Boston in Massachusetts so thoughts we are I really like Boston Bruins now let's punch the clock for some numbers. <laughs> the USA Today had reported 87,699 new COVID cases along with 1,004 people died today, which is sad. Now in Canada there were 1,432 new COVID cases reported today along with seven deaths, which is not bad as the US. <laughs> Mm. Here's a fun fact, Tonga mm. reported their first COVID case, wow wow, and that places at the very bottom of the list, and now every place in the world is affected by COVID. I didn't know that Tonga existed mm. and was an actual mm. place. For all of us here at the Accessibility Guy, good night, and I will see you next week. Remember to subscribe to me, and until next week, peace out. And I am going to leave you with telling you that Adele will release her album called 30. No. I can't play a song from her new album because it is not released yet, but this song is, and this is my all-time favorite song currently. Welcome back Adele after six years.